So about 31 years ago, which is depressing, um, a movie came out that I really wanted to see as a 10 year old boy. And that was, no, it was not Flight of the Navigator. However, I did want to see that too. And that's one of my absolute favorite movies. We're talking aliens here because today is Alien Day. Um, I guess technically, I don't know if it's Alien Day or Aliens Day because it's 426, so it should be aliens, but you know, it's just all things alien and aliens. So uh, we're here celebrating that. And what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to do a trailer reaction for the very first Aliens trailer. Um, at least, I hope this is the actual official trailer. So I, I found this on YouTube. This looks legit. I hope this is the fucking real deal. So let's check it out right now. Just tell me one thing, Burke. You're going out there to destroy them, right? Not to study. Not to bring back. But to wipe them out. That's the plan. Burke! On the ready line! Get the ready line! Get the ready line! Get the ready line! Get the ready the ready line! Get the ready line! Get the Yes, I mean, they're pretty much going in order of the movie right now. Showing some key moments. R.I.P. Bill. Here. Look, I'm telling you, there's something moving in, it ain't us. Get them out of there! Everything about this movie holds up, even this trailer. They cut the power. How could they cut the power, man? They're animals. There's movement all over the place. Five meters, man. Four. <laughs> the queen still looks Aliens. This time, it's war. Yo, ah oh, man, 31 years later, I'm telling you, man, that trailer still works. That is still a damn good trailer. Man, I got goosebumps just kind of thinking about watching that movie again. I can't, I was totally expecting that trailer to suck, you know, like, you know, you can go back and like, you just, the trailer format has changed so much over the years. Um, but man, j just watching that, that's a 31 year old trailer and it still feels like it has the, you know, the, D the, the trailers of today still have that DNA, you know, where it's like. Let's basically show a bunch of shots from the movie without giving away too much. And I actually thought they might have, you know, I don't know, maybe crossed the line, but audiences were a little bit different then. Um, you might have need to show stuff like that, like to get people to actually be like, holy shit, like this looks like a legit Alien sequel. Um, because, you know, back then, nobody knew, like obviously Alien was Alien, but nobody knew Aliens was going to be any good. Um, except James Cameron, obviously. And everybody who probably worked on the movie. But man... Oh, man, what a great trailer. So, yeah, I kind of wonder, like, where is the point where, um, you know, 31 years ago, when it, when was it too much as opposed to now? Because nowadays, obviously, we have so much content, so much stuff to pick from. Um, and as soon as we see something that's a little bit too much in the trailer that ruins that surprise, we're done. You know what I mean? That, at least that, that kind of happens to me. Probably happens to you, too. Um, but this one was, was great. But, I mean, if that was a, a trailer today... I feel like I wouldn't have shown the queen at the end. Um, I would have definitely. I feel like I would have wanted to save that. Um, but man, some of the shots with the, the xenomorphs. I mean, it still fucking holds up, man. That effect shot where he's like coming through the door. I mean, that's uh, that still looks phenomenal, and it, it even looks better than the shit that's coming out now. Still, it's amazing. Thirty-one years later, man. James Cameron. This is a fucking masterpiece. If there was ever a such thing as a masterpiece in cinema, I mean, Aliens is obviously it. It's probably, it's generally my go-to number one movie of all time. Um, you know, I love Star Wars. I love, you know, my Mad Max. I love everything. I love lots and lots and lots of movies. But, I mean, Aliens just, like, ticks, er ticks every box for me. Like, it's got a little bit of horror. It's got action. It's got amazing performances in it. Tremendous cinematography. It's one of the best scores I've ever, uh, ever heard. I mean, the James Horner score is just phenomenal. Um, it sticks with you. I mean, just that visceral 
uh, man, like, you know, especially that scene, um, you know, when Ripley's, like, trying to save uh, all the Marines, you know, she's driving that truck thing through, like, you know, through the corridors and shit like that. That's, that's music. I mean, I think of that music at least, like, once a week, you know. It, it just it replays in my memory over and over and over again. Um, yeah, this is just, it's absolutely one of my favorite movies of all time. Kind of glad I got to do this, um, this trailer reaction. I'm having fun celebrating Aliens Day. Um, when my girlfriend comes home, I'm going to see if I can talk her into watching one of the Alien movies. I don't know if that's going to happen, but we'll see. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching my trailer reaction here for 1986 Aliens, one of my all-time favorite movies. The trailer still kicks ass. It's freaking phenomenal. Just an amazing piece of work. I'm going to go continue to celebrate Aliens Day by doing stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to try and convince Barbara into watching Alien or Aliens. Um, I've got some NECA toys to play with. I've got my illustrated story of the original Alien. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but um, I'm obviously I'm going to post this. So I'll see you guys online. Hello, 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 hello.